Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, welcome to the office hours for Jenkins Configuration as Code plugin. Uh, it's the 20th of November. Um, on the call, we have myself, Tim Jacob, we have Oleg, and John. Um, so, so I'm currently looking at the minutes for the meeting. We have um, just the standard agenda at the moment. Oh, welcome, Alfred. Um, so feel free to add anything else to the agenda, but otherwise we'll just go through it. Um, so the first thing up is news. Uh, so anything new that's been, oh, Alfred is not Alfred, Alfred is Joseph. Um, yeah, one of the things uh, I wish was said in his uh, um, uh, Dev DevTools uh, project. So yep. we, we had a demo last week uh, where um, Sladin presented his work. Uh, there are some wrap up uh, being done, for example, blog posts, uh, and after that we will have online meetup, maybe in mid December. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we've got uh, uh, quite good progress there. Cool. Um, so since the last um, time we went through the, I think the last project meeting was three, three weeks ago for the regular project meeting. Yeah, something like that. Um, so since then, um, one dot three three was released. Um, so we have a secret source implementation for properties files. So that's so that you can just have one file with all your secrets in, rather than having to um, have the file name is the key and the contents of the file is the value. Um, so it can be quite useful for people um, who are still running on VMs or um, well, who aren't running in Docker or Kubernetes, um, quite useful. Uh, a couple of the, the, the Jake has dev tools project enhancement for JSON schema documentation. Um, a misspelling in the API, which had no consumers, so it was corrected. Um, and a few new demos and documentation updates and um, quite a few dependency updates, but they're all in our integration tests, uh, so they shouldn't affect anyone. Uh, and some more cleanup. So the main feature is the secret source implementation. Um, and pending, we don't, we, we've only got dependency updates pending currently. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of ongoing development, yeah. um, we've had a request for the configuration as code class to be unrestricted. Um, I think so that the cl cloud bees beekeeper um, can decorate the output in, in some way. Yeah, like them. Yeah. Um, just of other in-flight development, I think um, there's a schema generation to finish off the JKS uh, dev tools um, work inside of JKS. Um, there's currently a couple of issues with it. I so one, well, tests are failing and um, there's a duplicate Jenkins configurator because of the Jenkins object and the Jenkins configurator is causing some issue. Um, but yeah, that pull request is critical for the schema um, generation to work properly. Um, I thought I thought the test framework was finished, but I should probably have a look and see where that's at. And the other one was the null pointer that Oleg started working on, but um, wasn't able to finish, I think. Yeah, I yeah, dropped to the ball on that because yeah, I just had six weeks of travel. My plan is to return to configuration as code and also to uh, yeah, um, Docker packages, which are quite related at the moment. Cool. Um, in terms of other in-flight development, um, system read seems quite stalled. Um, Um, so the feature toggle approach was implemented um, mm -hmm. and it's been waiting for feedback for a month or so. Yeah. 
So what are we missing in this pull request now? Um, it implements the feature toggle based approach. Um, mm -hmm. The only other um, Yeah, was, whether it's possible to make it read only, but also agree that it's very difficult without touching, without a lot of hacky JavaScript or um, patches across a lot of plugins. Yeah. So do we have much conflict there? But we're uh, assuming there is a consensus about feature flock, and I assume so. We could probably land it. Uh, in one of the next week, yes. Okay, okay. I'll, re I'll resolve the comment. Yeah, the low light a bit, uh, we should have new baseline selection today. Uh, so it means that it misses uh, Jenkins uh, LCS. But on the other hand, uh, I do not see what would be the schedule because uh, usually we used to skip one month uh, due to Christmas break and other thing. So maybe it applies this year as well. Uh, I already uh, think uh, Oliver Gonza, so I'll try to understand what is the status. Sure, sounds good. Okay, I'll resolve the conflicts after this anyway. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't think the integration tests are still in progress. Um, I believe that uh, the most of them have been merged. Most so. of them are merged, but I think there was a few that weren't working. But I think mm -hmm. he, Victor did a lot of work on it, and probably not this one. Mm -hmm. Gave up. Um, so SAML, we never got working. And TFS, I don't know if we want to merge the TFS one. You have to, there's a library that's not published to Maven Central, you have to download it and it's not very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's just SAML and TFS left by the looks of it. Close this. Oh, the other thing was the proxy. Um, so Jenkins core pull request was merged for the um, proxy configuration class. Mm -hmm. So that, that pull request was just for proving the integration. Um, VS Code plugin for JCast. So the last, the kind of sub-project meeting last Wednesday, um, uh, Sladen demoed it and he's going to do another demo and in December, like Oleg said earlier, um, and there's a couple more features that need to be off just so that it works properly. Ooh, plugin compatibility highlights, login theme plugin. Yeah, well, basically just uh, got uh, one pending release over the line yesterday. Oh. But yeah, if somebody has any other highlights, please add them. Uh, because yeah, I wasn't tracking uh, plugin releases uh, over past weeks as well, so I we'll, uh, need to catch up on this trend. Um, the audit trail plugin is almost done, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this one, uh, sorry. Yeah, I think Pierre has it working, but there's a couple of questions on how it's a breaking change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also cool. have a number of other pending uh, GCAS compatibility fixes, um, but we will need to clarify the state. Anyway, all major uh, plugins are already compatible. So yeah, we apply fixes here and there. Uh, but yeah, I just moved uh, one instance to JCast last week, and uh, basically I didn't experience any compatibility issues while moving really real instance, which is quite unexpected. But yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna see if Sonar Cube ever released. No. Oh yeah, that's a difficult part. <laughs> Mm. So I guess uh, some other guys just celebrate acquisition now. So probably it's not a good time to think them. Is there another poor? I'm just trying to say there's, there's another poor request. Ah, right. 
Okay, so the the main pull request was merged, and then the follow up pull request um, to make another field optional, which was missed in the first PR. Um, so I'm guessing they're not releasing because they're waiting to merge that. Yeah, that's been a very slow and painful um, one. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, has anyone got anything else? Oh, one thing which is probably related. Um, yeah, over the past weeks I was working on uh, Jinx file runner. So now Jinx configuration as code is a part of a vanilla package. So basically anybody who's using Jinx file runner gets uh, Gcast out of the box. Um, and yeah, uh, without dash Jenkins file dash runner. Uh, yeah, and uh, currently I'm finishing the plugin management, so I will be using the plugin installation manager tool created by Natasha Stopa during JSOC this summer. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, basically my plan is to use it right away in Jenkins file runner. Um, and uh, then uh, we will likely coordinate upstreaming uh, this tool in the Jenkins standard for Docker images. But in Jenkins cool. file runner, I plan to support on the other uh, the new tool. Cool, that sounds good. Um, I think it's getting a bit more attention now that it's had the 1.0 release, so some people are trying to use it. And yeah, I don't expect uh, one or the two release anytime soon because. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm just uh, addressing feedback, changing architecture. It also requires some Jenkins core patches to be more efficient. So I think it will be, uh, it will stay in a beta for a while, but uh, this beta already works pretty well. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, anything else? Um, there's one thing that came up on the mailing list. Um, the milestones. Yeah. I'm sure it's worth. Yeah, I was about bringing that up, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so basically it's also a change which we will need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, because yeah, whatever we do, initialization in Jenkins code uh, becomes quite complicated. And right now you cannot reliably use uh, jo uh, manage jobs or folders from JCask. Um, and uh, yeah, so change that we definitely need uh, this fixing. Is it a lot of work? Well, it's a Jenkins enhancement proposal. So I was about doing that, but we are taking the current state. I would uh, rather prefer Jenkins board collections to finish first so that we have a clear way how to actually review jobs. Right. Yeah, so yeah, it w would have been great to get it in the next LTS baseline, uh, but it doesn't look to be possible. So then uh, it means that uh, the next uh, target for us would be uh, February, I guess, um, February or early March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we'd have, and then we'd have to bump our baseline to the new LTS when it's available. Mm, or... Yes. Um, so it uh, brings up all these configurator API discussions. Uh, there is uh, no easy way to do it without uh, bumping the core dependency. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, I think mm -hmm. right, it's not really it's not really users as the issue. I think it's um, other plugins using our API. Yeah, just configuration is good. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Where is this? It's too long. I can't see. Two dot on ninety. Mm -hmm. so, so most people are on. Eighty-four percent are on one two dot one ninety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, normal yeah. statistics. So, yeah. of course, we can uh, break it. Uh, well, not break it, but uh, require a new core version. It might cause some issues, for example, if we ever want to deliver another security fix or for plugin maintainers, because it means that whomever wants to pick up new Gcask version, for example, if you offer new APIs, then they would have to bump the core dependency as well. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the main reasons uh, for me to propose Configurator API plugin uh, almost two years ago, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's still an open question, and I think that um, we might need to, uh, to uh, discuss it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just a matter of moving things; it's, mm -hmm. it's restructuring, refactoring, so that they cleanly split. Because at, at the moment, you have to move too many classes. Yeah, it's not uh, about moving. Uh, well, basically, we have uh, leaky abstractions uh, in yeah. some uh, cases, so we cannot easily split the things to two. It will yeah. uh, require some work. Yeah, yeah. I've never had a look at it, and it's possible, but it will take some work. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Anyone else got anything? John Joseph. Okay. So yeah, one topic. Uh, uh, next meetings. So I created a doodle for that. So if anybody is watching recording. Um, I'll paste the link uh, to the meeting notes. Once I find it again. Mm -hmm. So we definitely need some votes so we can schedule uh, a, a new meetings. Yeah, maybe since we have some time, uh, it makes sense to quickly discuss it. Um, basically, we have two options. One, uh, to keep the meetings uh, in the current uh, time zone, more or less. So it means so that uh, yeah, your, uh, people from Europe uh, and uh, um, Asia can participate uh, easily. But um, at the same time, uh, it's not that comfortable for the United States, especially for East Coast. West Coast, yeah, it's quite late, but they probably can attend on the evening. Uh, but yeah, for East Coast, it's, uh, the current slot is not good. So, so that's why whomever is interested in this vote, so that we can uh, see whether this option is fine or whether we need to, to look for other uh, options. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim, Joseph, what's your availability in general on evenings? Just in case. Uh, rather not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, one of the options would be to just have uh, two meetings. So one uh, approximately as is, and another one some time later. But yeah, it really depends on the participants because. Yeah. yeah, probably we will get some usual suspects uh, there, like uh, Alexel and uh, other folks uh, who use Gcast. Yep, I'm not sure whether it justifies the meeting. Let's see. Yeah, let's see how it goes. We could possibly alternate time zones as well. Yeah, so just uh, one meeting uh, per two weeks uh, as is, and maybe one meeting two weeks or months uh, in the uh, US time zone. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. Anything else for today? Okay, uh, so I'll check with uh, Oliver what is our LTS schedule. Cool. Sounds good. And, uh, yeah, I'll follow up on the Gitter chat. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. See you, Jenkins Bye. Bye. Yeah. At least some of See you. you. <laughs>